17 to 18 which is nearly 3% of total electricity generation. The capacity utilization factor is nearly 16% in the fiscal year 2017 to 18. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, of India has announced a revised estimation of the potential wind power resource, excluding offshore wind power potential, from 49,130 MW assessed at 50 M hub heights to 102,788 MW assessed at 80 M hub height at 15% capacity factor. Solar Energy, Edit Main articles, solar power in India and growth of photovoltaics. India's solar energy insulation is about 5000 T kilowatt hour per year, i.e. tilde 600 TW, far more than its current total primary energy consumption. India's long-term solar potential could be unparalleled in the world because it has the ideal combination of both high solar insulation and a big potential consumer base density. Also a major factor influencing a region's energy intensity is the cost of energy consumed for temperature control. Since cooling load requirements are roughly in phase with the sun's intensity, cooling from intense solar radiation could make perfect energy economic sense in the subcontinent located mostly in the tropics. Installation of solar power PV plants requires nearly 2.0 hectares, 5 acres of land per MW capacity which is similar to coal-fired power plants when life-cycle coal mining. Consumptive water storage and ash disposal areas are also accounted for, and hydropower plants when submergence area of the water reservoir is also accounted. 1.6 million MW capacity solar plants can be installed in India on its 1% land, 32,000 square kilometer. There are vast tracts of land suitable for solar power in all parts of India exceeding 8% of its total area which are unproductive barren and devoid of vegetation. Part of wastelands, 32,000 square kilometer, when installed with solar power plants can produce 2,400 billion kilowatt hour of electricity, two times the total generation in 2013 to 14 with land productivity forward slash yield of 0.9 million rs per acre, 3 rs forward slash kilowatt hour price, which is at par with many industrial areas and many times more than the best productive irrigated agriculture lands. Moreover, these solar power units are not dependent on the supply of any raw material and are self-productive. There is unlimited scope for solar electricity to replace all fossil fuel energy requirements, natural gas, coal, lignite, and crude oil, if all the marginally productive lands are occupied by solar power plants in the future. The solar power potential of India can meet perennially to cater to per capita energy consumption at par with USA forward slash Japan for the peak population in its demographic transition. Solar thermal power. The installed capacity of commercial solar thermal power plants in India is 227.5 MW with 50 MW in Andhra Pradesh and 177.5 MW in Rajasthan. Solar thermal plants are emerging as cheaper, 6 euro cent forward slash kilowatt hour, and clean load following power plants compared to fossil fuel power plants. They can cater the load forward slash demand perfectly and work as base load power plants when the extracted solar energy is found excess in a day. Proper mix of solar thermal and solar PV can fully match the load fluctuations without the need of costly battery storage. Synergy with irrigation water pumping and hydropower stations. The major disadvantage of solar power. PV type only, is that it cannot produce electricity during the night time and cloudy daytime also. In India, this disadvantage can be overcome by installing pumped storage hydroelectricity stations to store the surplus electricity generated during the daytime for meeting the demand during the night hours.
In addition to harnessing most of the water resources, the embankment canals originating from the coastal reservoirs would also be envisaged with pump storage hydroelectricity features to store the surplus electricity available during the daytime and reconvert to electricity during the night time. This is achieved by utilizing all the usable river waters by interlinking Indian rivers and envisaging coastal reservoirs. Also, all existing and future hydropower stations can be expanded with additional pump storage hydroelectricity units to cater nighttime electricity consumption. Most of the groundwater pumping power can be met directly by solar power during the daytime. To achieve food security, India needs to achieve water security which is possible only by energy security for harnessing its water resources. Electric Vehicles See also, Electric Vehicle Industry in India The retail prices of petrol and diesel are high in India to make electricity-driven vehicles more economical as more and more electricity is generated from solar energy in near future without appreciable environmental effects. During the year 2018, Many IPPs offered to sell solar power below 3.00 RS forward slash kilowatt hour to feed into the high voltage grid. This price is far below the affordable retail electricity tariff for the solar power to replace petrol and diesel use in transport sector. The retail price of diesel is 101.00 RS forward slash liter in 2021-22, and the retail price of petrol was 110.00 forward slash liter. The affordable electricity retail price, 860 kilowatt forward slash kilowatt hour at 75% input electricity to shaft power conversion efficiency to replace diesel. Lower heating value 8,572 kPa forward slash liter at 40% fuel energy to crankshaft conversion efficiency is up to 19 forward slash kilowatt hour. The affordable electricity retail price 860 kPa forward slash kilowatt hour at 75% input electricity to shaft power conversion efficiency to replace petrol. Lower heating value 7,693 kPa forward slash liter at 33% fuel energy to crankshaft conversion efficiency is up to 28 forward slash kilowatt hour. In 2021 to 22, India consumed 30.849 million tons of petrol and 76.687 million tons of diesel which are mainly produced from imported crude oil at a huge foreign exchange outgo. V2G is also feasible with electricity driven vehicles for catering to the peak load in the electricity grid. Electricity driven vehicles would become popular in the future when the energy storage forward slash battery technology becomes more compact, lesser density, longer lasting, and maintenance free. Hydrogen energy, edit. See also, power to gas and list of fuel cell vehicles. The National Hydrogen Energy Roadmap is constantly evolving in India by consolidating various capabilities at institutional and research centers. The hydrogen energy program started in India after joining the IP, International Partnership for Hydrogen Economy, in the year 2003. There are 19 other countries including Australia, United States, UK, Japan, etc. This global partnership helps India to set up commercial use of hydrogen gas as an energy source. India is already producing blue hydrogen from biomass using the pet coke gasifiers. Nearly 412,000 metric tons forward slash year capacity green hydrogen projects are awarded to produce green hydrogen by the end of 2026. Hydrogen is a carbon neutral fuel. Solar electricity prices in India have already fallen below the affordable price, 
almost equal to INR 5.00 per kilowatt hour to generate 0.041 pound forward slash kilowatt hour hydrogen which is equivalent to 0.071 liters of petrol in terms of lower heating value. To make hydrogen economical fuel by sourcing from electrolysis of water to replace petrol forward slash gasoline as transport fuel. Vehicles with fuel cell technology based on hydrogen gas are nearly twice more efficient compared to diesel forward slash petrol fueled engines. Hydrogen can be generated cheaply by splitting methane using electricity without emitting any greenhouse gas and also extracted from wood gas produced from carbon neutral biomass. A luxury FSEV car generates 1 litre of bottled quality drinking water for every 10 km ride which is a significant byproduct. Also FSEV does not emit any particulate matter but removes particulate matter up to PM2.5 from the ambient air. Any medium or heavy duty vehicle can be retrofitted into fuel cell vehicle as its system power density, watts forward slash liter, and system specific power, watts forward slash kilogram, are comparable with that of internal combustion engine. The cost and durability of fuel cell engines with economies of scale production line are comparable with the petrol forward slash diesel engines. The excess power generation capacity available in India is nearly 500 billion units forward slash year presently and another 75,000 MW conventional power generating capacity is in pipeline excluding the targeted 175,000 MW renewable power by 2022. The hydrogen fuel generated by 500 billion units of electricity can replace all diesel and petrol consumed by heavy and medium duty vehicles in India completely obviating the need of crude oil imports for internal consumption. Use of hydrogen as fuel to replace jet fuel by aircraft is also a promising proposition. Converting petrol forward slash diesel driven road vehicles into fuel cell electric vehicles on priority would save the huge import cost of crude oil and transform the stranded electricity infrastructure into productive assets with major boost to the overall economic growth. Hydrogen spiked CNG is made available in Delhi to reduce pollution emissions from BS4 compliant old buses. Electricity as a substitute for imported LPG and PNG, edit. See also, energy in India. The net import of LPG was 16.607 million tons and the total consumption was 28.33 million tons and the domestic consumption was 25.502 million tons which is 90% of total consumption in 2021-22. The LPG import content is nearly 57% of total consumption in India in 2021-22. The affordable electricity retail price, 860 kilowatt forward slash kilowatt hour at 74% heating efficiency, to replace LPG, lower heating value 11,000 kilowatt forward slash kilogram at 40% heating efficiency. In domestic cooking is up to 10.2 RS forward slash kilowatt hour when the retail price of an LPG cylinder is RS 1000, without subsidy, with 14.2 kilograms LPG content. Replacing LPG consumption with electricity reduces its imports substantially. India's piped natural gas, PNG for domestic cooking needs was 12,175 million standard cubic meters MMSCM, which is nearly 19% of total natural gas consumption in 2021-22. Natural gas forward slash LNG import content is nearly 56% of total consumption in 2021-22. The affordable electricity retail tariff, 860 kilowatt forward slash kilowatt hour at 74% heating efficiency, 
to replace PNG net calorific value 8500 kilo forward slash SCM at 40% heating efficiency in domestic cooking is up to 9 forward slash kilowatt hour when the retail price of PNG is 47.59 per SCM. Replacing PNG consumption with electricity would reduce costly LNG imports substantially. The domestic consumption of kerosene was 1.291 million tons out of 1.493 million tons total consumption in 2021-22. The subsidized retail price of kerosene is 15 forward slash liter whereas the export forward slash import price is 79 forward slash liter. The affordable electricity retail tariff. 860 kilo forward slash kilowatt hour at 74% heating efficiency to replace kerosene net calorific value 8240 kilo forward slash liter at 40% heating efficiency in domestic cooking is up to 15.22 forward slash kilowatt hour when the kerosene retail price is 79 forward slash liter during the year 2021 to 22, the plant load factor (PLF) of coal-fired thermal power stations, nearly 210 GW, was 58.86% only, whereas these stations can run above 85% PLF comfortably, provided there is adequate electricity demand in the country. The possible additional net electricity generation at 85% PLF is nearly 450 billion kilowatt hour, enough to replace all the LPG, PNG and kerosene consumption in domestic sector. The incremental cost of generating additional electricity is only their coal fuel cost which is less than 4 RS forward slash kilowatt hour. Enhancing the PLF of coal-fired stations and encouraging domestic electricity consumers to substitute electricity in place of LPG and kerosene in household cooking would reduce the government subsidies and the idle capacity of thermal power stations can be put to use economically. Domestic consumers who are willing to surrender the subsidized LPG forward slash kerosene permits or are eligible for subsidized LPG forward slash kerosene permits may be given free electricity connection and a subsidized electricity tariff. To avoid the possibility of fatal electric shocks, power is supplied to the electric cook stove through a residual current circuit breaker. Since December 2018, IPPs have been offering to sell solar power below 2.90 RS forward slash kilowatt hour to feed into the high voltage grid. This price is below the affordable electricity tariff for the solar power to replace LPG, PNG, and kerosene use at a subsidized price of LPG or kerosene in the domestic sector. Two-wheelers and three-wheelers consume 62% and 6% of petrol respectively in India. The saved LPG forward slash autogas replaced by electricity in the domestic sector can be used by two- and three-wheelers with operational cost and least pollution benefits. LPG is also used in heavy-duty vehicles forward slash boats forward slash trains forward slash off-road construction or mining or farming or other equipment to replace diesel or petrol with economy and environmental advantages. It is also possible to convert the existing heavy-duty diesel engines to dual fuel with LPG for reducing the PM10 particulate emissions. Existing petrol engines can be converted at low cost into 100% LPG or dual fuel with LPG for achieving enhanced fuel efficiency and economy with drastically reduced emissions. Non-subsidy LPG prices are below the diesel or petrol prices in India in terms of heat content. Heat content wise 1 kg of LPG is equal to 1.85 litres of LPG or 1.37 litres of diesel oil or 1.48 litres of petrol. Cheaper butane, a constituent of LPG, propane and butane mixture, can be directly mixed with petrol forward slash gasoline for better use in vehicles. 
instead of using LPG as a heating fuel in the domestic sector, for higher end usage, propane can also be converted into alkylate which is a premium gasoline blending stock because it has exceptional anti-knock properties and gives clean burning. Propane can be used in hydrogen forward slash ammonia production with advantages compared to natural gas and also can be transported much cheaper than LNG or natural gas. Energy trading with neighboring countries, edit. The per capita electricity consumption is low compared to many countries despite cheaper electricity tariff in India. Despite low electricity per capita consumption in India, the country is going to achieve surplus electricity generation during the 12th plan, 2012 to 2017, period provided its coal production and transport infrastructure is developed adequately. India has been exporting electricity to Bangladesh and Nepal and importing excess electricity in Bhutan. Surplus electricity can be exported to the neighboring countries in return for natural gas supplies from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Bangladesh, Myanmar and Pakistan are producing substantial natural gas and using for electricity generation purposes. Bangladesh, Myanmar and Pakistan produce 55 million cubic meters per day, MCMD, 9 MCMD and 118 MCMD out of which 20 MCMD, 1.4 MCMD and 34 MCMD are consumed for electricity generation respectively. Whereas the natural gas production in India is not even adequate to meet its non-electricity requirements. Bangladesh, Myanmar, and Pakistan have proven reserves of 200 billion cubic meters, BCM, 1200 BCM, and 500 BCM respectively. There is ample opportunity for mutually beneficial trading in energy resources with these countries. India can supply its surplus electricity to Pakistan and Bangladesh in return for the natural gas imports by gas pipelines. Similarly India can develop on boot basis hydropower projects in Bhutan, Nepal and Myanmar. India might also be able to enter into long-term power purchase agreements with China for developing the hydropower potential of the Yolong Sangpo Grand Canyon in the Brahmaputra River Basin of Tibet. There is ample trading synergy for India with its neighboring countries in securing its energy requirements. India's national grid is synchronously interconnected to Bhutan, and asynchronously linked with Bangladesh, Myanmar and Nepal. An undersea interconnection to Sri Lanka, India-Sri Lanka HVDC interconnection, have been proposed. Sri Lanka can also export its surplus renewable energy, solar, onshore wind, offshore wind, ETC, to India in future. In 2015, Nepal imported 224.21 MW of electric power from India, and Bangladesh imported 500 MW. In 2018, Bangladesh proposed importing 10,000 MW power from India. To encourage the carbon neutral solar power generation, plans are made to transform the Indian national grid into a transnational grid expanding up to Vietnam towards East and Saudi Arabia towards West spanning nearly 7,000 kilometers wide. Being at the central location of the widened grid, India will be able to import the excess solar power available outside its territory at cheaper prices to meet the morning and evening peak load power demands without much costly energy storage. Policy Framework, Edit In general, India's strategy is to encourage the development of renewable sources of energy by offering financial incentives from the federal and state governments. With the abundant solar energy resource combined with adequate high head pumped hydroelectric energy storage potential, India is capable to meet the ultimate energy requirements of its peak population from its renewable energy sources alone. In 2021, 
the government has upped India's target to 500 GW of renewable energy by 2030. Increasing energy consumption associated primarily with activities in transport, mining, and manufacturing in India needs rethinking on India's energy production. The following trends are manifested in the energy policy to achieve energy self-sufficiency, least pollution, climate change mitigation, and long-term sustainability. Purpose preferred fuel next preferred fuel least preferred fuel. Mobile military hardware indigenous diesel, indigenous petrol ethanol, biodiesel nil. Air transport biodiesel, biomethanol, bioethanol, LNG, ammonia ATF, HSK. Marine transport biomethanol, biodiesel, bioethanol, nuclear fuel, battery power. Pyrolysis oil, LNG, CNG, FSEV. LDO, HFO, bunker fuel, diesel. Heavy duty road vehicles, FSEV. Battery power biomethanol, bioethanol, biodiesel, LNG, CNG, LPG diesel, animal draft power. Passenger four-wheel vehicles battery power, FSEV biodiesel, biomethanol, bioethanol, LPG, CNG diesel, petrol. Passenger two forward slash three-wheel vehicles battery power biodiesel, biomethanol, bioethanol, LPG. CNG petrol, animal draft power. Railways electricity, FSEV biodiesel, biomethanol, bioethanol, LNG, LPG diesel. Illumination forward slash lighting electricity, bio CNG CNG, LPG kerosene. Cooking electricity, biomethanol, bio CNG CNG, bio car kerosene, LPG, firewood. Space and water heating electricity, pyrolysis oil, biocar, solar energy, biomethanol, bio CNG CNG kerosene, LPG, firewood. Commercial forward slash domestic, appliances electricity battery power, biomethanol, bioethanol diesel, petrol, LPG, CNG. Industrial motive power electricity, biomethanol, Bioethanol, bio CNG biodiesel, pyrolysis oil CNG, LPG, diesel, petrol. Industrial heating electricity, solar thermal energy, biomass, pyrolysis oil, biocar biogas, PNG kerosene, LPG, firewood. Urea fertilizer biogas forward slash singers, biocar, electricity, Biomass natural gas, indigenous pet cock naphtha, coal. Pipeline transport electricity biodiesel, hydrogen fuel cell generator natural gas, diesel. Water pumping electricity, biodiesel LPG kerosene, diesel, petrol. Agriculture heating and drying biomass, pyrolysis oil, solar energy LPG, electricity diesel, petrol. Agriculture appliances electricity, LPG biodiesel, pyrolysis oil CNG, diesel, petrol. Bitcoin mining carbon neutral electricity cheaper electricity generated from fossil fuels. Costly electricity sourced from fossil fuels. Electricity generation solar power, wind, hydropower, biomass, torrefacted biomass, biocar. Biogas plant residue, pumped storage hydroelectricity CNG, animal draft power, peaking power only, battery energy storage system petrol, diesel, NGL, LPG, LDO, HFO, naphtha, nuclear, coal, pet coke. Steel production renewable electricity, charcoal, biocar renewable hydrogen, LPG, CNG coke, coal. Cement production indigenous petcock, biomass, waste organic matter, renewable electricity LPG, CNG coal. Roads construction by asphalt, carbon neutral cement cement asphalt. 
Feed stock for petrochemicals acetylene and hydrogen generated by renewable electricity, biogas, hydrogen from wood gas substitute natural gas, bioethanol, biodiesel, biomethanol ethane, naphtha. Protein rich cattle forward slash fish feed CNG, PNG, biogas, LNG SNG from coal, coal bed methane, coal mine methane. SNG from renewable electricity, SNG from the indigenous pet cock nil. Industrial raw materials as economically required nil nil. Electricity generation, edit. Main article, electricity sector in India. The installed capacity of utility power plants is 314.64 GW as on the 31st of January 2017 and the gross electricity generated by utilities during the year 2015 to 